Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Web Lemon, and today we're back to playing Hunt for Junk. So last time I did tackle a few levels that I was meaning to, and I not only got um, a few more pathways open, but I actually collected a few food items. So let's get right into it so I can show it off. So stage one, we actually collected the cake. Um, pretty obvious, but I still got it. Stage two, we collected the burger. Uh, not stage three. I think it was this stage here. Yeah, so we collected the fries. So I'm gonna actually go down into the right. and tackle this stage first. I am guessing a fall like that will just straight up kill me. So, obviously, the plan is not to fall and die. I know, so much, so easy. Um, <laughs> uh, and basically I make a comment about dying and then right off the bat, look at that, I died. Oh, that was risky. Fuck, no! Oh, no! Maybe I should just not play platformers. Oh, what the hell? The, okay, one thing I wish platformers would do is that um, when you are making the jump function, please, for the love of everything, to um, make it so that... Uh, Oh, you gotta be kidding. No! Oh! Fuck! Make it so that, um, the jump can happen. Like, if that was just my bad. Like, a few seconds. Um. I shouldn't say seconds. Like, a few pixels after. Um, leaving the platform. Because. That happens. Uh, I hate this level already. Also, turns out that um, the level I was having difficulties with, um, with the whirly saws and everything, yeah, I was halfway through that level, and it really is a mate. Oh my god. Okay, maybe we're gonna tackle another level for now. Um, how about we tackle the other level I just unlocked and pretend I didn't tackle um, part 8 yet? Or stage 8. Now, I wonder if falling into the water means death, or if there's any real implication. Yeah, it's death.
Oh, oh no! I hate this water. Um, I really do. Okay, good to know that's up there. And... Wait, are they tra- Oh my god, it's a homing one! I... think... I would count that as... a new enemy type? No! Oh, I almost did it too! No, no, we are doing this? I don't even care about the- Oh wait, I actually- I actually do need to care because I think I need that heart. Um... And then I'll wait for this one to come by. Wait for him to go by. There we go. I guess I'm not gonna care about every um and oh my god, every enemy. But um, I think tackling a um, majority of them would be a smart idea. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I'm okay with missing those two. So, basically there's... Uh, different achievements for doing different things. Fuck this game. Fuck. More specifically, fuck me um, for being as lousy of a platformer as they come. Also, fun fact the. Um, The down key, I'm assuming to allow you to fall through some areas. Yeah, doesn't... doesn't work. Oh no, I was so close. I'm actually quite determined on this one now. I do need to stop taking hits though. my trip back so much harder. Okay, I understand. Oh, that is so dirty because the place just above areas where um 
they can land. Oh, oh, that is so smart, but so dirty. Ah, I. There, there are some things about this game that do bug me now that I'm playing them. I mean, they're not the biggest of deals. But I mean, they do. I am justified in them bugging me. Even if it's just a minor complaint. Like the fact that when I get hit, I have to move backwards so I don't get stun locked, I think is kind of bullshit. And if I don't, that happens. So when I'm on a tight platform, it's just death. my last try and then I will um, cut to when I get a little further in because I have a feeling that takes me all the way to oh fuck yeah pretty sure that takes me all the way back here um, and then I'd have to navigate back. So, yeah, I'm gonna jump until I basically complete that. So, I'll be right back. Oh, <sighs> alright, so I did get in, and my prediction was correct. It did land us right back at the beginning with new mobs basically on every platform so this makes it much more dangerous to actually proceed but as long as I'm careful and yeah I fucked up this um but as long as I'm careful and Try not to get stunned. I should actually be fine. <gasps> no! Oh my god, no! Okay, I'll be back once not only once I get the item again, but am past all of this. <sighs> I'll see you in a second. Alright, so, I'm back, I got the soda pot, I made it through, oh my god, this is dirty. Oh my god, I finally did it. You do not know how many tries that took me, but Jesus Christ. I really hated that map. A lot of it just literally consisted of retrying the um, flying Goombas. That's it. That was literally the um, hardest part is trying to get my um, jumps proper and then me failing just like um, that granted I will say I think um, the flying Goombas one is um, the harder one um, not because it's like not stationary or anything, 
But just because there's just that many more, um, which just makes it difficult. Oh, it was up there. Because we totally didn't um, play this level a little bit uh, before that last level. It's totally our first time playing. Other than self-satisfaction, though, to be honest, I don't know why... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, now I know what to do. I should be fine. Um... Yeah, I think one of my biggest complaints is still that, um... There's no widescreen feature. Um, well, fuck. Oh, you kidding me? Oh. You know, actually dying would have been quicker. Um. But I will do this and prove that I can do it without cheating. Well, it's not that I'm cheating, it's that I'm doing it off camera a bunch of times. So I kind of want to just prove on camera I can do it. Honestly. I'm not even sure why I care, other than the fact that I can. Oh, and I overshot it. Sometimes that's the uh, problem with this game too, is you just overshot things. Overshoot? Um, granted, that's a me problem, but like, in situations like that, I'm pressing a the jump button, and it's not jumping. I do honestly believe that um, uh, jumping could be a little more smooth if it gave you gave you a few pixels off platform. Oh. That gave me a heart attack for a sec. Um, shit. Well, that ugly motherfucker is dying just on principle. Hey, we did it. It's not like it makes this part any more difficult either. Seeing as the platforms are super tiny anyways. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
Honestly, I could have done that. Oh, yeah. Um, my complaint with the last level wasn't even that it was badly constructed. It was just that getting to the point where, um, you need to do the jumps, um, to get the special food item just took so long to get to that it actually just became quite frustrating when um you know when you die after like basically doing all that work been the main thing that is definitely the frustrating part. <sighs> and then it's like that. It's like obviously I'm high enough that I'm on top of it. Just give me the extra jump. just a pain in my ass. But, uh, ah, yeah. One thing I do wish is that this had the options for full screen and I'd actually be interested in the color version of this, to be honest. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand this was made the way it was sty for stylistic design, but the ability to play it the in a more traditional format might have opened up the game to um, a wider audience. style for nostalgia purposes god damn it um yeah anyways i'm gonna jump until i get after the um uh that one jump with the two flying creatures so i'll be right back all righty so we're back i actually grabbed the three coins in the corner there oh and i got everything it actually did take me a few tries but, um, yeah. Now, uh, just to see. I know I got it from that top area. Got it from there. I need to get it from stage four. Um, and I need to get it from stage three. I'm assuming stage three will open up the stage on the far right over there. And then... I still need to complete stage 5, and then we can go on to the castle. So I think I'll do a few things off camera, and then I'll tackle stage 5 and the stage on the far right um, off camera, and yeah, yeah I think that's a good plan. So I'll do some things off camera. Stage. Five and uh, the one on the fall right will be for the next broadcast, and then 
I'll probably just finish off the game with the castle. But anyways, thank you. Thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>